Hey guys, welcome to the shop. This is Graham with Trails In Custom Construction. We are a custom furniture and cabinet maker here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, today I wanted to talk you through one of our most recent projects, which is a walnut conference table that we're making here for a client in town. Um, in particular, I wanted to talk you through uh, the use of the Liberty hidden countertop support plate from our friends at Federal Brace. This was something we used to kind of add some extra strength and stability to this table. Um, and I'm gonna walk you through how we did that. This table was unique in that it featured uh, two square legs without any type of uh, trestle or stretcher, uh, you know, at the base of the table. So we wanted to make sure that we uh, added some extra stability to this table. Uh, in addition to the apron, we're going to use uh, some countertop support plates, uh, the Liberty hidden countertop support plate to be specific uh, from our friends over at Federal Brace. Uh, these came pre-drilled with two holes. Uh, for our purposes, we wanted to add a few more, uh, and that was as easy as throwing it up on the drill press. Uh, Federal Brace does offer the option to uh, custom make these components, and you can find out more at federalbrace.com. We wanted these support plates to sit flush with the top of our table legs so that our tabletop would sit flat across both the leg and the support plate. So we simply routed out a little recess uh, for this plate to sit in and utilizing threaded inserts, we attached the plate to the table legs. This table was unique in that we wanted our clients to have the opportunity to disassemble and reassemble this table as needed. And in order to do so, we took advantage of the Festool SYS D8 domino connection system. Because this table base is not glued together and does have the opportunity to be disassembled and reassembled, we wanted to add some extra support. And that's where our Liberty Hidden Countertop support plates came into play. Next up for us, we just needed to find the location uh, of our threaded inserts on the bottom of the tabletop. Uh, and that was as simple as uh, putting our base together, resting the tabletop on top of the base, and then just using our pre-drilled holes in the countertop support to guide uh, the drill bit for the threaded inserts. We will attach the countertop support plates to both the leg and the bottom of our tabletop for added strength. With our tabletop and our table legs completely assembled, all we needed to do was put together our apron assembly, attach our base structure, legs and apron, to the tabletop itself using our threaded inserts, and attach some tabletop connection Z-clips, and we're done. All right, guys, thanks for watching. This has been a super fun project for us. If you would like any more information about the support plate that we used in this video, you can check out federalbrace.com. Uh, additionally, please feel free to check us out, Trails in Construction, at trailsinconstruction.com, or you can visit us on Instagram at trails.in.construction. Uh, thanks again. We'll see you next time.